Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. Today, John Coleman and I have the great pleasure of speaking with Manny Pacheco, our Hollywood historian and really awesome guy. <laughs> Manny, you are awesome. Mm. You're so awesome, Manny, that you're... Well, first of all, we know that you've been on radio for many, many, many years. Mm -hmm. You've done television. You've done uh, films. You've teaching. done documentaries. Teaching. But now, now you're doing radio on Spotify. Well, it's a podcast. Oh. Uh, obviously, um, there's there are arguments to be had now that, that the idea of radio is is slowly disappearing and they're being replaced by streamed services and podcasting. Yeah, and yeah. so it's an opportunity to uh, go into a new platform to, to bring the uh, forgotten Hollywood fran franchise to the public. It's just another way of doing that. By the way, Jeff, Manny, just uh, so, so that people can understand this, because they're so used to our blog, which is really a video podcast, that yours right. is truly a podcast, which is a speaking without video. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's called M Manny Pacheco's Forgotten Hollywood. It's it's based on my book series, as everything I do is. And because it is an audio presentation, I had to figure out a way to deliver content that would still spark the imagination of the listener. And what I did is, it, 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 as well as tell stories, I'm able to uh, also present uh, music of the era's whichever era I happen to be uh, talking about. So many of the uh, of the conversations I have might be, per, per, for example, some of the best Oscar winning songs of a certain era, or a look at some of the famous composers of Hollywood's golden age, for example, Johnny Mercer or Henry Mancini or John Barry. So, I mean, uh, and, and I'll take a film. I'll take a film like Casablanca or Goodfellas or even Forrest Gump. And I will explore the soundtrack of that particular film to show how music became so important in uh, telling the stories that they love to tell with the great actors that were involved. Well, it's but your podcast is more than uh, more than music. Although that I I'm, I have to compliment you and and say that's an important element. And I love the fact that you don't just play little clips of music; you'll play the whole song, and right. we get to really experience it. But I was going to say, it's more than just music. You're a great storyteller. Oh, well, thank you for that. I, I love the stories I'm telling, so it makes it pretty easy. There are uh, a, a number of great stories that never even made into my, my, my book series. So for me to be able to add upon that, uh, and even, even the stories that I tell on my blogs, I mean, there's just so many stories out there that I don't think I'd ever run out of stories. But I will say this, I, I'm aided by some wonderful guests as well. Um, there was a couple of actors who have since passed away that I was able to get interviews with, and they will be featured on this uh, podcast, including Hugh O'Brien and Debbie Reynolds. Wonderful. I also, yeah, and I, I interview um, uh, Margaret O'Brien, the Oscar winning child star of the 40s. And so there's, a, you know, I get some interviews. I actually interviewed the folks uh, over at the Crystal Cove where many films were made in Orange County. Yeah. So there are lots of folks that I also bring in. And one other thing that you may have alluded to, John, I'm not sure if you did or not, but you have when, we, when the cameras aren't rolling, that I do also provide clips from the movies themselves. So you might hear some actual dialogue from some of the actors uh, from, from just standout movies. So yeah. that's always fun as well. Yeah. Well, you you being in having, you know, been, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 years in radio, broadcast radio um, and broadcast television, um, you really have a sense of the medium and what it can do. And the fact that it's just a, a audio only, I shouldn't say just audio only, you really produce for that medium. And so it's it's wonderful to sit and listen to. It's not just, you know, some people just take the audio from a video they did mm. and make it a quote podcast you well, really are producing a radio show yeah that's real that's done that's done a lot by the way which which you just suggested and and they do it from from cable television they'll they'll take a, some sort of a, a broadcast and then they just present the audio so yes you're right about that um i'd like to think that you know my 
my uh, mentorship came from some terrific people who worked at KRLA over the years who were, gr I mean, really great storytellers, uh, friends like Casey Kasem. And if you live in the Southern California area, you'll be familiar if you're of a certain age of a man named Johnny Hayes, who was able to tell just terrific stories about the music and the uh, artists that presented the music of the of the 50s and 60s. And so I, I, I've always wanted to tell stories. There was a time back in around 1987 where I would go to clubs around Southern California, and it was very easy to be a DJ at a club, but I did it a little differently. I might work during a happy hour. And instead of just playing music for people to get up and dance, which I did, but in between, I would tell stories. So I've been telling stories for a good part of my career, and um, I've done it live, and I, and I realized that audiences love to reminisce, they love nostalgia, so why not do a podcast that does the same thing? And here's the good news. I promise a minimum of 91 episodes. Hmm. Wow. 91 episodes. Yeah. I've, no, they're already in the can. They're done. They're ready. Wow. They're ready to go. Wow. Yeah. If I wanted to, I could put all 91 up tomorrow. But I'm going to do it one at a time each week, build the enthusiasm, build a following. <laughs> I mean, I think that's the way to do it. And uh, I'm very patient. So I have, an, I have enough. Uh, stuff in the can that's going to take me all the way through 2023. Wow. Oh, God. By the way, I want to I be very, uh, make a clarification for our audience who might not know, who might, some some people who, who may be our age, is that uh, Manny is a, an, is a wonderful storyteller, but the stories he tells are based on truth, not fiction. Because uh, I want to be very clear, a lot of people our age, uh, uh, I I went to sleep every night listening to Gene Shepard on the radio, and he was a master storyteller. But he yeah, made it up yeah. as he went along. Oh, he uh, made it. <laughs> <laughs> but your stories are are true stories. Many of them are barely, if known at all, about uh, stars and their backgrounds and how they succeed and so on and so forth. But one thing I want to make very sure of is that people understand because they've uh, forgotten Hollywood is your baby, but there are people who sort of borrow pieces of the name or the concepts. How do people identify that it's your podcast? Well, it's very simple. The, the name of the show is Manny Pacheco's Forgotten Hollywood. That is to say there are other people who have a certain memory of Forgotten Hollywood. I guess that's allowed. But uh, this is my version of that. And I, I, I've, you know, I've made a career of it since uh, since early 2009. So I've been around a little bit. And, and fortunately, there are those now in the Hollywood community that, that refer to me as a historian, which I'm blessed with that title, which I, I, I truly consider it a blessing. But uh, but you're right, Art. We do a lot of research. There was a lot of work done. And I also brought in uh, an individual with impeccable credentials. Unfortunately, he has since passed away. But I figure by including him into this program is just a terrific legacy. And that was the radio, radio journalist for the Orange County Register, the great Gary Lycan. Yes. Who is, in the last year of his life, in the last year of his life, was honored with uh, Journalist of the Year by the uh, LA Press Club. He yeah. received one of his best honors right before he passed. I considered him a dear friend. He's a wonderful co-host, and he's part of this whole Forgotten Hollywood podcast journey as well. Yeah, well, Gary, Gary was a fun guy. I, I, both Art and I knew him. I know him pretty well. And uh, very talented guy and loved, just loved radio. And loves to write and, and loves to research. Yeah. His stuff, I'm going to tell you, to, to listen to his stuff again after all these years is, I think, a highlight in, 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 in each episode. I, I, I'll speak to my sister because my sister listens to the shows. And we actually discuss the stuff that Gary brings up. And that's a real testimony to him. And I have no ego about that. I want Gary to shine. I think as far as I'm concerned, if Gary shines, the show shines. So, um, yeah, he's he's so good. He is, he's just so good. So, I, you know, the, the shows run an average of 45 to 50 minutes. Uh, so, you know, while you're preparing for an evening out or maybe you're on your way to work, you, want, you might want to go over to Spotify. Or if you don't have a Spotify 
um, you're not part of Spotify, let's say, uh, you can also listen on Castos. That's C-A-S-T-O-S, castos.com. So there are two platforms for which you can hear the show. And I, I welcome uh, anybody who'd love to listen to this show because I think they're gonna I think they're gonna learn a few things and hopefully we entertain you a little bit as well. Oh yeah, and well, definitely. They're a lot of fun to listen. I'd say the most important yeah. thing is that uh, while it's a lot of fun listening to uh, uh, Manny Pacheco's Forgotten Hollywood uh, while you're driving, uh, just make sure that uh, it's not while you're listening to the traffic report on KNX on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might get a, you might get too much of me that way. <laughs> Never too much but, of Manny. Well, Manny, thank you right, again. Just, uh, for anybody who hasn't uh, heard the podcast, uh, the link will be, uh, and the information will be down, uh, explained underneath the video. And uh, do yourself uh, a favor for a real treat. Listen to Manny Pacheco's Forgotten Hollywood on Spotify and other fine purveyors of podcasts. Well, thank you for the opportunity to let me share this. And uh, yes, I invite all who are listening to Celebrating Act Two to listen to uh, my, my new podcast. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.